great speech about how great love is and how thankful I am to be here. Don't lie. Don't hold your breath. In fact, this is the opposite. I am here today to scold my parents for tricking me. Let's take a walk back to the golden years of young and dying Heather. Mom was just beginning her business out of the house, and Daddy came home every day to watch Price and Rain on lunch break. <laughs> With the exception of... That was Friday. That was Friday. It felt like every day. <laughs> With the exception of my 7 o'clock bedtime, I was living the dream. Yes, I'm still living. And this dogs to play with a cute little baby brother to harass. And my parents there whenever I needed. Mom put me on the bus every day, and after a grueling day of school, I could always count on her being in the kitchen when I walked in the door. She was probably cleaning while every day is a winding road lasted through the boombox speakers. I probably wasn't cleaning, just <laughs> You pretended you were. <laughs> Daddy came home pretty soon after I did, and after completing my homework and watching the Babysitter's Club, the four of us would sit down and have dinner together. We spent almost every evening having dinner as a family and watching Simpsons before it's time for bed. <laughs> Steve and I were privileged enough to have our sisters, technically cousins, Rachel and Jamie, grandparents, aunts and uncles, all within a two-mile radius of our little house in Buchanan. We were taught from a young age that family means everything, and without it, you are nothing. My parents supported my brother and myself in everything we did, from athletics to academics, and even Steven's really noisy drum phase. <laughs> we were lucky enough to grow up in a house filled with love, laughter, respect, and the confidence to follow whatever dream we so wish to follow. It all sounds quite chipper, huh? <laughs> but honestly, everyone, think about it. What are the odds of falling in love at 15 years old to your soulmate? I mean, really. While most people their age are busy deciding who to take to prom, what friend to be mad at for the week, or whether you should go to this Beijing party next weekend, these two people made the decision to commit to each other for the rest of their lives, to create a family and life together until death do a part. Who does that? <laughs> and the worst part is that I've never actually seen them argue. It makes me sick to my stomach. <laughs> Watching my mother's I baby blues get all wide-eyed when my father comes to the room. <laughs> and he's a handsome devil, so could you could blame her. For sure. Whoa. And seeing my father smile from ear to ear when he looks at her is all Stevie and I need to prove that a love like theirs is rare. So thanks, Mommy and Daddy, for leading us on and making us think that what you have is normal. <laughs> You were crazy kids who knew from the beginning that you would be together for the rest of your lives. I only hope that Stephen and I will be as lucky as you two were. So let us raise a glass and thank the couple who is behind this fabulous reunion. Cheers to 25 years.